<laughs> Where else can you drink world-class wines next to a beach that looks like this? Welcome to Santa Barbara, also known as the American Riviera. This central coast town is only an hour and a half north of Los Angeles, and it's the perfect destination for families. It's so perfect that many of the rich and famous called home, such as Oprah, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle, to name a few. And it will be our home for the next week as we explore all the great things that Santa Barbara has to offer. If you are new here, welcome. We are Scott, Colette, Scotland, and Lucy, an adventurous family dedicated to empowering you to dream big, explore more, and discover life. After traveling to over 80 countries as a couple, we added two new members to our family and decided to hit the road. This is our journey up California's iconic Pacific Coast Highway in this beautiful 27-foot Airstream. We've got 18 special years to roam as a family, so join us as we navigate this beautiful world together. So one of the must-do things for any family while in Santa Barbara is to rent a Surrey bike. That's right, we are one of those families now. You like this? You're holding a dog and I'm holding a baby. What are we doing? Hey guys, we're on a Surrey bike. Hey, Colette wanted to do this, so we're doing it. You like this, sweetie? She's, having... she's loving it. I think she's liking it. Okay, I wanted to do this for many reasons. One, it's a great experience as a family. It's a great. Look at us, palm tree lined sidewalk. Oh. We're not New Jersey anymore, folks. Okay. We have the ocean in front of us. We take a break. This is coast. I just had this vision of our family biking along the water in Santa Barbara, How palm tree lined How much time do we have? Pacific Ocean. Let me get my phone out. Also, aren't you having fun? I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> having so much fun. So this is going to be interesting. We've got two seats, two adults, a dog, a drone, a camera, a backpack, and we're going to navigate this bike on the strand. Not exactly sure how we're going to do this, but I think we can get some drone footage of us. <laughs> of track didn't work and it basically started zooming in. <laughs> we we kind of broke some propellers, so I think it's time we head back. We got some footage? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Hello. We made it. High five. Can you do a high five? Yeah. But you had fun, didn't you? Didn't you? High five, mom. That was awesome. Oh. Oh. Okay, I wanna take just a moment to talk to you guys about cuts. Now, we have been loving and wearing cuts for years now, and I am wearing cuts right now. They are go-to clothes for travel. I have one of their slim cut crew tees and their fleece on, and they are buttery soft, they don't wrinkle, which is amazing for travel, and they come in so many different cuts and colors, hence the name Cuts. But we wanna extend the gift of Cuts to you, so use the code ROMARU15, click the link below, and get 15% off your Cuts order. And enjoy, guys, because this stuff is awesome. Hello. And we are doing something that I'm so excited about. We're going on a taco trail. You know I love tacos. That's right, so you can eat your way around the city of Santa Barbara because they have their very own taco trail. Now we are starting off at one of the best of the best taco places called La Superica Taqueria. Yes, and it is just this little hut. There's a line outside, so we gotta hurry because I feel like the lunch crowd is starting to form. What do we want to try? The most yeah. popular dish is number 16. What's the bigger dish? It's chili pepper, cheese, and marinated pork. What do you think? What do you, or you make watching? It's finally here, or I should say, we, we're here. Now we got the food. This is 100% authentic. I mean, there was a lovely lady in the kitchen making fresh tortillas. Uh, there's like barely, I don't even know if there's a name outside of the building. It's, it's just a shack. 
it is, I can't wait to dive in. It's warm, I got their special, the guy recommended it, number 16. It's some roasted peppers, some pork on tortillas with cheese. I got a pork tamale, which looks so good. I also got some pork tacos, and I just want to mention that the average price of items on this menu is about $4 an item. So if you're a budget-friendly traveler, this is definitely for you. So after that delicious lunch, it was time for us to head to Stern's Wharf. And unbeknownst to us, you can actually drive on this pier. What are we doing? Driving onto the pier. Your destination will be on the left. Oh, yeah. You really can. You can just drive First 90 minutes free. Driving on the pier. This is cool. Okay, we are about to go wine tasting on the Santa Barbara Pier at Deep Sea Tasting Room. It is part of the Urban Wine Trail. Santa Barbara is known for its wine and you don't have to leave the actual city to taste the wine. They have all of these amazing tasting rooms around the city. This one is right on the water. Can't get any better than that. So let's go taste. Our new Duel is a um, Dolcetto Merlot blend. It's like, this is out of a movie. <laughs> Look at the palm tree, just lined beach with the mountains in the background. Have you ever seen a beach like this before? It's, it's so insane. Cool. It's so cool. This is one of the most magical wine tasting rooms we've ever been to. We're on the water looking over all of Santa Barbara. It is absolutely stunning. Scotland's having breakfast or lunch, I guess. It's lunch. It's lunch. And we're having a little tasting. What you chowing down on, sweetie? What is that? Some eggs. Yeah. Eggs and spinach. Klutz white and red mixture was $18. And I did the all red for $24. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. You are fancy. Yeah. Don't be Lucy, that's your food. Lucy has plenty of food, it's very nice, but you don't have to be Lucy. She's like, here you go. We are headed to Haskell's Beach, which is a dog beach in Goleta. We're gonna let Lucy run free with her people. I mean, you have to go to the beach when you're in Santa Barbara. This is a dog beach, it doesn't get much better than that. So at first glance, Lucy was a little intimidated by this beautiful dog beach. But after making a friend, it was heaven on earth for Lucy. What'd you say? I said, have you ever seen a dirtier, happier dog before? <laughs> when it comes to looking for an RV park inside the city of Santa Barbara, unfortunately, there are not a lot of good options. When looking at the reviews, most of them claim that they were not safe. So we decided to stay just outside the city at Sun RV Park. This place was fantastic. Not only did it have a play area, but it also had one really cool feature. All right, so it is time to go hiking in these hills. Yes, we are hiking the Bill Wallace Trail, which is a four mile loop. The awesome part about this is it leaves directly from our RV park, which is Sun Outdoors. You ready to go, Luz? Let's hit it. We're only just beginning, but when you have 20 pounds strapped onto you, things get a little more challenging. But look at everything in bloom because of all the rain. How about that view? High five, Scotland, we made it. Can you high five, Dad Dad? Can you high five? Yeah! yeah high good five. job! We made it. High five, Mom. <laughs> good job. You want to do another? <laughs> okay. I see you. That's <laughs> you. High five. Yeah. Yay! Good job. Out there, if you come to Santa Barbara, you can take a boat out to the Channel Islands. And in the wintertime, you can see whales. You can go on whale watching tours. Pretty cool, it's a national park out there. I mean, there's plenty to see in Santa Barbara itself, but if you want to get super adventurous, you can go out to the Channel Islands. Sweetie. And now, <laughs> Scotland took her hat off. It was very short-lived, so now I have to protect her from the sun. 
<laughs> you kept your hat on, you'd be a lot more comfortable. Or well, at least mom, mom would. <laughs> everybody cheers cheers so we are at one of our favorite wineries where are we we are at Presqu'il winery in Santa Maria we came here about four or five years ago and it was just the two of us but we came back with Scotland and Lucy because it is a pet friendly family friendly winery and oh my goodness guys it's even better than I remember I think because we get to share it with them yeah so we are doing the food and wine tour and we are up here having a private tasting after a wonderful tour of the winery. And we are just on our, what, second or maybe third wine, and we're gonna have lunch up here. The view is amazing. You can see the Bucolic Hills behind us, which is not normal. It's because they just had a bunch of rain, so you can see it's all green and lush, so that is a very special and rare event to happen in this area. Yes, and it is 70 degrees and sunny in February. So if you needed a sign to book a vacation, this is it right now. <laughs> but if you're coming to the Santa Barbara area, you have to book a day out at a vineyard. It is an absolute must. And there are so many amazing wineries in this area, but if we could recommend one, it would be Presqu'il. It's yeah. really special here, guys. It's really cool.